Hello friends, it is April 8th, 2020, about 1.11 p.m. It's a nice, warm, great day out. Nice and quiet. Got a lot of the windows and stuff open. Getting some fresh air into the house. I've, uh, I weighed myself today finally been avoiding the scale, not trying to live by it. I was going to wait until later. And uh, let's just say I'm happy with the number. Um, you'll just have to wait. You know, it's it's one of two things. Either, you know, why, why am I not showing myself on camera? It's one of two things. Either I completely lied and now I'm 300 pounds and I've regained all the weight, etc. Or, or, you know, I'm being a little, being a little tricky, a little sneaky, a little strategic and holding off, you know, letting, letting the process continue on so that when I do finally get back on camera, the, the difference is uh, rather sharp, rather stark between the last time and the next time, right? So you'll just have to see. Um, I, uh, I know, you know, last year after all the upper back stuff started, I, once it kind of stabilized and all that, I was doing pretty good. I was doing pretty good, but then towards the end of 2019 and such, I did kind of uh, fall off the wagon there, if you will. So it's, it's kind of been uh, uh, undoing some of the mistakes. Um, but uh, I, I've set up a new goal weight number, which is even lower than what I've had before. Um, and at the rate that it's going and... I think that by about late summer, you know, by about September 1st, give or take, I think I should be there. It's about five more months, give or take. And, you know, it's just doing it, folks. You know, it's just doing it. Not overthinking, not getting, you know, there's good days, there's bad days, but you stick with it and don't give up. Um, one, one good day, string together the one good day after the other. For a point in time which will come, and yeah, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, I'm just picturing it in my head, stepping on that scale, and seeing that number I want to see, and just feeling freaking good, you know, um, feeling light, strong, etc. So, anyway, you'll just have to see. But uh, this video is not about that, and I don't really, you know, there's all this uh, C-virus stuff is continuing, and I'm not, this is not going to be a video about that. I want to take a break from all that stuff and talk about something else. Now, before I get into it, this is not meant to be, oh, I'm trying to sound really smart and wise, and I have something profound to say. This is just essentially a video of... These are things that I wish I had learned, at least up to now, long, long ago. This is the, if I could go back in time to my younger self, sit down and try to like really impart anything of like, now, now, listen here, this is what it would be. I'm just throwing this out there, take it or leave it. If, if, if somebody can gain something out of any of this, that's good. If not, that's fine. You know, you don't have to get all, oh, he's trying to sound smarter and, and then it'll be a, a sage and something like, no, it's none of that. It's just, as I said, this is stuff that I really, really wish I had learned earlier. I'm just putting this into a separate video by itself. I know that I've kind of talked about some of this in some videos. I mentioned all of this in the recent stream that I did, but thought it was uh, somewhat important enough to separate it out and put it into its own uh, video. So these are, uh, you know, these are big realizations that I kind of learned about my life that, uh, you know, as I said, wish, really wish I had figured this stuff out much sooner 
probably would be free of many, if not all of my problems <laughs> at this point. So the first thing, of course, if you've been watching for quite a while, you know that I said the first big epiphany is you can run away and you can probably run away for a long time, but you can't run away forever. Eventually, it all catches up to you, doesn't it? And uh, this can apply to a lot of things, you know. This, it all depends on where you're at in life, etc. But uh, it, uh, the analogy can be used for many things, you know. For, uh, for example, with health, you know, you might be able to get away for a long time. Just, uh, you know, abusing your body not taking care of yourself, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But then there's going to come that one day, there's going to come that one day where you're, um, you're going for a walk, something starts hurting in your upper back, and then over the next few days, it's just this cascade of shit kind of falling apart, you know? It, uh, it feels... It feels like it all happened in just one moment. But in reality, it was ultimately just a long buildup over time. And if you kind of know my story, you know, you graduated college, was scared of people, had social anxiety, didn't have a car, was scared to drive, didn't know what direction to go in with life. I was pretty good. I was okay. I was okay with SQL and Oracle databases and got offered and it was unpaid, but you know, got offered an internship to do uh, Oracle databases, which, uh, you know, who knows, who knows what any of that could have, could have led to, but, uh, what did I instead decide to do? Well, I'm going to go shelve books in the library because this way I don't have to really talk to people and I can, I can essentially, oh, I found, found an escape and I can, uh, I can escape and run away from, uh, the challenges of my life and what I have to face. And, uh, you know, I was, I, I was, uh, I was able to get away with it for a while, but like I said, like I said, eventually it catches up and, uh, yeah, you pay the price and then now you've got even less time to work with because now you're older, etc., 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 you know. Um, the second thing, that was the first, so the second thing would be um, don't build an identity around a problem or vice that you have, you know? You, uh, if you take it too far, you start kind of becoming a caricature, if you will. You almost just start doing things because that's, you know, you, you maybe even have ironically built an identity around the thing, but you start doing it and then from the irony, it becomes more serious and you start sort of becoming a caricature and it becomes much harder to get out of a thing or solve a problem because you've, you know, your identity is whatever, whatever you've chosen, right? And it's like, what? But this is who I am. Can I give this up? You know, and so on and on it goes. Um, I remember, I think it was about 2010 or 2011 discovering the whole forever alone meme and you know you're like you identify with it and like yeah you know I'm, I'm I don't not having any luck with women and this and that and I got my problems whatever um and uh that's how it starts ironic you start identifying it it goes further it's just you know, I said, it becomes this cascade of things. And then, so yeah, then you get to that point where you're, you're older in life and only then you're like, oh shit, man, maybe, 
just maybe uh, I should try to get out of this. You know, a part of me, I said, I, I just, I almost wish I had never discovered that meme. Maybe things would have gone differently. I don't know. Who knows, folks? But it can be very, very dangerous is all I got to say. Um, I mean, I, to this day, I mean, I talked to my half Ganny friend and he's got his struggles with alcohol and he, he just, he does that thing where it's not, you know, it's not the thing where you admit you have a problem. It's the, you've built an identity around the problem and then you keep repeating it over and over and over again. And it's not like a matter of, oh, you want to fix it or you want to get better or this and that. It's just, oh, I'm a this. I'm a that. I'm a this. I'm a that. You say it in this sort of like, oh, you know, this is just how it is. And, uh, uh, you know, there's m many a nights I remember having conversations with him over the phone where he just like keeps repeating it over and over. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an alcoholic. I'm sorry. I'm a, it's that, you know, it, it's just gone so far where any sort of like trying to fix it, you get cynical about because you've ingrained it so much and so deep in your into your psyche, your consciousness, whatever that I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying that that's another one of those things or second thing, be very, very careful, very careful about building an identity around your problems or vices, whatever. Your problems are there to be solved or worked on, not to form an identity around, okay? So, of course, easier said than done sometimes, right? Anyway, that's the second thing. The third thing is, now, you know, I acknowledge it's not necessarily a guarantee it's absolutely no guarantee, but, and it's one of those things too that you don't really see until you start getting older where you can kind of see the passage of time and you can see how, oh, these decisions I made or the lack of any decisions I made, this is what it led to and that's really dumb and I'm embarrassed. You know, you can see what it led to or didn't lead to. Whereas when you're younger, that's, uh, not necessarily so clear. And the third thing, of course, is that there's really something to be said for picking a direction in life and just going with it and trying to find, you know, giving it your best and trying to find ways to make it work, succeed, progress on, get better at, etc. versus um, making no decision, you know. The reality of making no decision, folks, is that when you don't know what you want, that's more or less what you get is nothing. Um, if you make no decision, then you get nowhere. Now, maybe making a decision, it's not always necessarily a guarantee, and it could end up being a failure, but at least it's a direction and a path. You know what I mean? There's a possibility. There's a possibility, folks. Um, either that or the thing where you don't stick to something. Boy, that has been the story of my life, right? When you don't stick to something, when you're always going back and forth, this and that, you end up getting ultimately nowhere. You've gone in a thousand places, but ultimately you've gone nowhere. So, um, you know, once again, I, that's another thing that can be applied to numerous things. Um, I mean, even with, say, fitness-wise. Uh, you know, I remember long ago, back in, like, 2008, 2009, something like that, watching, a uh, like, this talk that a power lifter, Jim Wendler, did, where he more or less said the same thing, where it's like, you know, at the end of the day... Everything kind of works. 
if you actually stick to it and progress and get better, etc. Barbells, dumbbells, machines, uh, calisthenics, uh, bands, whatever. All of it, at the end of the day, more or less works. You just got to fucking stick to it um, and progress and get better, etc. And uh, this is one of those things where... Yeah, you think back to your youth. You think, I think back to like, you know, let's say post-college. You graduated, you're in that like, what do I do with life? That you really can see that if you had been definite, like I'm going to go in this direction. If you just choose, I'm going to choose this direction and I'm going to get good at it. Where you can kind of see where, yeah, more or less that probably would have led to something. Um, And life would not be... Uh, how it is right now. I mean, obviously, you know, you never ultimately know. Like I said, you never ultimately know. But there's, I said, there's something to be said. There's something to be said for you. You kind of, you know, I remember in college, I mean, towards the end there, having this class about resumes and jobs and stuff like that. And the teacher was really cool. You mentioned that, you know, everybody in this room I know maybe it sounds a little ridiculous, but everybody in this room, if you really wanted to, you could be a doctor. Um, You know, obviously some people would have to work harder than others. For some people, some things would take longer to learn than others, but if you decided on that path, you went down it, you stuck to it, and you found ways to succeed you know at the end of the day you could probably become a doctor you know if you you know um and so that's the thing i just i mean that's the thing i think back to that point i could have just decided on any direction but it's a very you know it's a thing that requires you got to be in it for the long term the long game it's not like you gotta put you gotta string that one good day after the other over and over and over and and you know there's plenty of times where it seems like you can't you, you can't see you can't see it but you know I mean you you know that it's gonna take a while but eventually you know the reality of life is that the time will pass whether you want it to or not and if you're if you're putting in the work you're probably gonna get somewhere. I mean, I probably, God, I could have, I could have gone with that. You know, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost in life. Whatever. I don't know how I feel about all this databases, Oracle, SQL, but whatever. I'm just gonna run with it and just try to get good with it, and that's what I'll focus on. If I had made that decision and just, I'm gonna go with it. Whatever. I don't know this well you know oh i don't know about the statistics for this and that oh that industry blah 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 i don't know um i probably it's safe to say probably would have ended up somewhere but instead (laughs) instead you are now having to make that decision (laughs) about 14 15 years later in life Um, and where did, you know, what do you have to show for that time? Yeah, you ran away from life and you went back and forth on kind of everything and you ended up sort of getting nowhere and you paid the price, right? So, I don't know, like I said, there's no guarantee, you never know, but... I can see that there's something to be said for kind of that definiteness of choosing a direction of path and like, you know what, I'm just going to get good at this. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be, uh, you know, it probably might take a while, but I'm going to work on it day after day after day and try to get better and et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. That's uh, no guarantee But I would say the probability of getting somewhere is probably better than making no decision. So, and the last and fourth thing, at least for now, last and fourth thing, at least for now, is I wish 
I mean, I've learned that essentially, sometimes in life, maybe more than a few times in life, you you really do kind of, there, there are situations where you do kind of have to, I liken it to learning to have to eat shit, so to speak, so that you can kind of, it's not necessarily to suck up to people, but it's to get on people's good side and to get them to like you, where, you know, you got to kind of put a bit of the tism, a bit of the booty burgers, a bit of the spurg energy away, and just do your best to interact with people, uh, try to find something to talk to them about, even if you have to really pretend to care about a thing, so that you... I, I don't know, that that relationship is good, even if maybe you don't care too much about whatever the things you've talked about are, you know, because what it's about is even if, you know, I've talked about, oh, you got to put on a mask to interact with whatever, like, yeah, I think that that's just a fact of life is that, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, maybe a lot of times, you do just have to pretend to care about shit and pretend and put on a mask and this and that, but that's the kind of stuff that allow you to form, you know, connections and relationships and this and stuff that would, that are probably going to help you to get to where you want to go and be who you want to be. That it's not just this thing where, oh, I'll just... I'll just be this particular way always and not that and this and that because I don't care, you know. Well, that's, uh, that may not necessarily lead to good things. Um, and that's, that's another, I said, you, you may end up forming some acquaintances, connections that may prove to be beneficial, you know, and all it took was for you to kind of maybe c cool it a little bit and, you know, just try to, oh, yes, let's talk about this thing, whatever, I, I don't know, it's, it's really, it's that thing where, you know, was it uh, how to win friends and influence people, you know, while it is sort of, I haven't read that book in a long time now, but, you know, it's that thing where, yes, you're, really try to show interest in what the person is talking about and let them this and that. And I know it can feel very fake and phony and this and that, but just there's a, there's a time and a place for being honest in who you are and et cetera, but uh, not always, not always. And that, you know, unfortunately, working on trying to be liked uh, not necessarily sucking up, but, you know, working on being liked um, can go a long way in uh, helping you get to where you maybe want to go. So that's, uh, that's the fourth one for now. So, so yeah, those are things. Those are things that I wish I had discovered much earlier in life, folks. So, like I said, if there's anything you got out of it, good. If not, it is. I'm just throwing it out there. This is just a message to my younger self. And, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. And I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.